I was lucky enough to review this machine at Tim Toss 2023. We're now at Emo 2023, and I meet Nicholas again. This machine is supplied by ETG in the UK. What is it, Nicholas? This is our best-seller five-axis machine based on a gantry type construction, and that's a 600 size table machine, full five-axis machining. Okay, full five-axis simultaneous machining. Exactly. So, so some super complex parts, essentially. Complex parts, tough materials. All you need to do with a 600 size table is it's a quite complete configuration. Okay, so there's no challenges this machine can't take on. I can manage them. <laughs> okay, but you say it's 600 size table, but it can take components or billets bigger than that. Yeah, actually the full capacity of the machine is about 800 millimeter by 500 millimeter height. So that gives you a lot of uh, possibilities. And the weight allowance on the standard table is a 600 kilo table. Okay, yeah. but again, no problem in terms of different materials, really tough materials. Yeah, anything. Anything. Is, is all right for us. Okay. Now, yeah, then it depends on the cutting strategy, of course, and, and all the things around. Absolutely. But you said this is the most popular machine in your range, but it's got loads and loads of different configurations. So, yes. for example, this has 10 pallets. Yes, this is a 10 pallet version. We have uh, 10 pallets in the back of the machine. That gives us the possibility to liberate, to have the full capacity for the operator to move around the, the front of the machine, and everything is in the back. So a good ergonomy for this uh, style of machine. Okay, but you can go from eight up to 20. Yeah, we got many different versions of uh, pallet changer style solutions from eight pallets, as you mentioned, up to 20 pallets with smaller components, smaller size pallets. And then there's no limit on that, that as well, because then you could go robot loading as well. Yeah, of course, we could do uh, an addition of a robot solution to load components in the back of the machine. And the idea is really to have the right discussions with the customer to know what they are going to do, and we will adapt the configuration as it should be. Okay, C axis here, so you get the full five axis simultaneous machining, yeah. but you can also have a turning option as well. Yeah, the turning is a possibility on all G6 and G8 machines, as well as the new DC12 addition. Okay, so now this is doing a lot of cutting here. Is the spindle capable of doing it? And is the machine rigid enough? Yeah, actually the, the capacity of Axile is also to supply machine with uh, European made spindles and rotary tables, so high quality. Uh, in this case, we are talking about 20,000 RPM spindle. High speed philosophy is our way. And uh, of course, we get uh, a very good uh, performance level when we cut uh, any materials. Okay. Now, I think you mentioned earlier, because if you're doing that type of machining on some big, big cuts, I'm hoping, yeah. is it rigid enough to do that? Yeah, the rigidity comes from its construction. The machine is based on a cast iron structure and it's a gantry type construction. So like I said, the gantry is moving uh, driven by two ball screws uh, and guideways on the top of the gantry. So that makes it extremely rigid. And uh, that, that's the key for a, a good machining capacity. Absolutely, so you've got lots and lots of capacity. Yeah. You're gonna need lots of tools. Exactly, so we are not playing any games with the tools in five axis. We, we feel it's very important to have the right amount from the beginning. So the right amount for us is 80 tools. So the machines come standard with 80 tools and then we can extend up to 360 tools. Just 360 tools. Yeah, that, that really depends on the automation, the style of uh, number of pallets available in the back of the machine and the complexity of the jobs. If the jobs are complex, they need more tools and sister tools and is also a, a point to consider when talking about automation. Okay, now you say about complexity of components, lots of tools and things like that. What controls do you run on this machine? The big advantage of our company is that we can supply a flexible approach of the controls. So we have Siemens control on this machine, but we can supply either nine both version of IO9, we can supply also FANUC, all five axis homogeneous controls. Right, because a lot of machine shops like to stick to one control, don't they? So this is true. This is always challenging to, to discuss these topics, but uh, we are flexible on this aspect. And some of the machines are in stock available on quick delivery. There you go. And that'll be from the guys at ATG. But back, going back to the controls, yeah. you've got the controls there, but you've got your own manage or management system as well. Yeah, we are doing digital management uh, solutions. So that means that it's a mix of hardware and software solutions. We have many different sensors in the machine to monitor all the aspects from the ball screw to the linear guideways, the spindles, all the vibration, temperature, and all these data are collected within a software management system. And then we work together with the customer to define what is inter interesting and important for them. This could be the machine efficiency, this could be for maintenance aspect, as well as monitoring of the energy consumption. Yeah. Uh, nowadays, we need to monitor more and more these aspects, as well as carbon emissions, and the solution is ready. 
Okay. So you can actually configure the controls to how the, how the engineer wants it? That's what we do. When we deliver a machine with the customer, with the end user, basically, together with ETG, we'll go and talk to them and check what they would like to have as a setup and get them uh, ready to go with uh, this digital management solution. Okay, and I can have my components in there, and I can, it will tell me how much it's gonna cost. So if a, if a customer phones up and says, yes, I need it straight away, yeah. you could do it and you could give them the, a, an indication of the price straight away. Exactly, that's a new feature of our digital management solution. It's especially for subcontractor. They know what they are doing. They produce many different types of parts, but we save the data and we have an estimation of the cost for the people on the road from their mobile device, because everything is connected to mobile device, they can check and, uh, and give a quotation very quickly to their customers. There you go. Now, one final thing is, what is there any specific industries this is aimed at? I would say that we tend to focus nowadays on aerospace because we have a range of machines which, are, which is covering a, a large spectrum of size. And also medical industry is also growing for us as well as still we do, still do a lot of automotive and dye and mold. Okay. Or in, in some areas. Okay, so I'm thinking a whole range there, so complex parts and difficult materials. Yes, yes, that's, that's our uh, chance to be able to supply machines to, to cover a large number Excellent. of possibilities. Yeah. Nicholas, great to see you again. I'll probably see you at the next ex exhibition, but if you want an Axile machine, get in contact with the guys in the UK at ATG.